Hey gang, it's Laurie from Cook, Scrap, Craft, and I have got a process video for you. This is a fun one that I did put together real fast for a sketch challenge over at the Redefined Creative, the Secret, not Secret, Kid Club Facebook page. Um, they have weekly sketch challenges there every week, um, and it's it's kind of fun to play along if you have the time, and you know, you have a week to get it done. Um, and if you win, as I did one week, you get a fun prize, so that's really cool. So for this challenge, uh, I don't, I didn't show you the sketch, I'm sorry about that, um, but you'll see what it looks like in the finished, the finished photos. Um, but for this one, uh, I decided that I wanted to pull out some um, old photo play paper. Uh, I had a paper pack, actually it had been a prize that I won, and it was a fall-themed paper pack with stickers and the patterned paper, and all sorts of fun stuff. And I had these pictures of my daughter playing in a corn box. Instead of sand, the farmer's market that we went to filled these big wooden boxes with corn kernels, um, you know, to fit in kind of with the fall theme. And uh, my daughter was a little apprehensive at first about sticking her hands in there. She's not really big on sandboxes either. But I did manage to convince her that it would be fun to play in the corn box, and she did. And she didn't actually get in it, she just put her hands in it. There were a couple other little kids in there and they were kind of throwing the, throwing the corn kernels around and I think that uh, upset her a little bit, as it would anyone, I think. But um, she did have fun kind of uh, just getting her hands in there, getting a little dirty, not too much. But I wanted to um, capture these photos on a scrapbook page and the sketch had like a, a two by a two by three grid. So there was, um, and it, it was kind of a staggered effect with the pictures. So there was one picture at the top of the first column. And then on the right hand side of the second column in the middle, there was a picture. And then, oh, there you go, just like that. So that, and then um, you had mirroring like pattern paper or whatever. Um, next to each photo. So I just needed to, I think I had to cut the photos down to like, well, I was just measuring there. I could have looked. Uh, maybe it was like a three by three square. Yeah, three by th three looks like, um, judging by my uh, little paper trimmer <laughs> ruler there. Uh, and that's always so difficult for me to cut down my photos because sometimes, uh, you know, I just print them out using Shutterfly because you can get free prints through the app. So I just print them out four by six. I know a lot of people have their own really nice printers at home and they can print in different sizes and all that cool stuff. I do not have a nice printer at home. It's just your standard, just your standard printer. And like ink is so expensive and I feel like um, I, I really found a gold mine with Shutterfly because you can get you know, you're basically just paying for shipping. So I can get a whole bunch of pictures printed for like three bucks. Um, and I could do that at Walgreens, I know, but I was having a lot of issues with Walgreens. Um, printing the photos in, in a decent way. So it's getting really frustrated. Um, but Shutterfly, I've never had a problem with the pictures being printed. You know, I'm just paying for shipping to have them sent to me so I don't get them like the next day, but that's okay. So here I'm just trying to, again, mimic what was shown in the sketch. Um, I love that, that fall leaf paper, and then the orangey paper in the background had words on it. Um, just, you know, fall-type themed words. Um, and I'm just trying to measure down where to put um, that little border strip that I cut. Because I want to make sure that it's this, this center part here is, like, literally centered on the orange background paper. Um, and I'm using... Scrapbook.com adhesive it comes on like this big giant roll. It's not my favorite. It's very gluey and I'm sure I've said this before in other process videos, but I have so much of it. So I'm just gonna keep using it until it all runs out and then I'll go buy the uh, tape runner adhesive that I like the best. So I'm gonna stick that down. Isn't that beautiful? And this is gonna sound really weird, but when I first got this photo play paper kit, it smelled so good. I don't know if anybody else has experienced that with scrapbook paper. Um, man, it smells so good. So now I'm just trying to put down those little squares and my photos and make sure I have everything where I want it to go. The original sketch had that grid kind of on the side. 
Um, and then there was like a big embellishment piece on the other side with like with the title. Um, and I it don't, it didn't have like a whole lot of big embellishment pieces that went with this collection. I probably could have gone into um, like another kit or something to find, to find something, but I just wanted to, um, I wanted to stay with the photo plate paper and just use the stuff that came with that. Cause I, um, I've had this kit for probably like a year now and I'm still, like, I still have stuff in it. I want to use it, you know, and luckily I will have more fall themed photos to scrap with. Um, lots of October activities that we did. Thanksgiving is coming up. Um, these are, it's like the perfect collection. I don't know if they still sell it. I'm trying to think of what it was called. It was like, um, oh, I wish I could remember because I know they have another one. Um, and this was not that, but I can't think of what it's called. And I'm so sorry that I don't remember. Um, the green paper, it's actually not solid. There's a little bit of a tiny leaf pattern on it. Um, and you'll be able to tell probably more with the close-ups. Um, but I know it kind of looks from this distance, it looks maybe more of like a solid, but there is a tiny little leaf pattern on there. And I really like that about this paper collection that there's kind of a mix of more of like the solid prints and then the bolder prints. And I, um, those are, that's the sticker sheet. Look at all those gorgeous, gorgeous stickers. I just, I love them all. And then they have cut apart sheets, which is like amazing. Um, so I'm going to use one of the cut aparts as part of my title or really not part of the title. Um, just to give me like that big element that's supposed to go next to them. Just like that. Um, and obviously it says F fall. And I was trying to see like if I could back it with something because it's like a cream color in the back there. And I just felt like it was kind of not standing out as much as I would have liked it to. Um, but it just didn't really fit, didn't really fit, um, with the other cut apart pieces of paper. It was too big. Now I'm just going to put some stickers. Now the sticker down there, it says September. That's because this is when the photos were taken. They were taken in September. Um, and I put a little mason jar with some fall colored flowers there. That one says blessed. Um, and I'm going to put another sticker into the other pattern paper square just to, you know, some fall elements and whatnot. And probably my, who knows, my, um, camera could have cut out. I think I might've actually gone and done something else here. Here, I'm going to bump it up on this, which I don't know what I'm doing actually, <laughs> because it's like cream on cream. <laughs> But uh, I'll see. I did this like a couple weeks ago, and I'm just now doing the process video for it. Um, I feel like I maybe was going to ink the edges. Maybe not. All right, well, I don't know what I was doing there. Um, but it ends up looking okay in the finished product, <laughs> I swear. Oh, my goodness. So we've got that. Um, and basically... I'm kind of done. I just have to add this title. Those are really old American craft stickers. I found them again at, at Michael's. And I think they were on sale. I have, I used them like years ago and I really kind of like the style of them. Um, so I'm just going to call it corn box because that's what the pictures were. Um, not thinking too hard on the title there. Um, got to see some close-ups coming up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you never miss out when I have another cool scrapbook layout or process video or whatnot to share you. And the links below take you to all of my social media pages. I would love to connect with you there. You can always find me posting. I post like a maniac. So definitely follow me on social media. And thank you so much for watching this process video. Give it a like, leave me a comment. Um, tell me what fall activities you're looking forward to scrapping this year. Um, and I think that's about it. I'm just adding, oh, I'm adding a little bit of these like little gem stickers there that were, that happened to be on my table. And I said, you know what? I'm going to use them. So I did. Because they kind of worked. Give it a nice uh, dimension to the page. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.